Hey, what's up cats and kittens and shout out to all my Cerebralites. It's me, the Cerebral Diva, uh, back with another episode of Reality. And this is going to be a really short episode of Reality, T-E-A, because it's piping hot, by the way. Um, I just want to touch on Love & Hip Hop. Now, you guys, if you watch my videos, you know I've pretty much sworn off Love & Hip Hop. I just don't watch it. Um, it's just gotten too ridiculous for me. It's not even watchable. So I, I've sworn off this season. It just... it. After watching, um, gosh, I can't think of the Asian girl's name. What, what's her name? Um, I want to call her Lovely Bay, but Love Bay, I believe, is on, um, she's on Black Ink. Um, oh my gosh. The, you know, the, <laughs> I can't think of her name. That's how irrelevant she is to me. But the Asian girl on Love and Hip Hop just, it was just over the top for me, and that was just all I needed to just write the season off completely. So, Based on what I'm hearing and all of the murmurings that are happening on the internet, people are really talking a lot about this child that Jasmine had for Kurt and that Rashida is choosing, for whatever reason, to not acknowledge. Now, I don't know why people are shocked by Rashida's behavior. Here's my thing. People keep blaming Jasmine and people keep blaming Kurt for this child, but no one seems to want to blame Rashida. And I'm sorry, and maybe this is just me being callous, but... In the words of Maya Angelou, and I'm sure every this this, this is part part of our pop lexicon at this point. When people show you who they are, believe them. We all know that Kirk is a cheater. This is no secret. If it's no secret to us, it certainly shouldn't come as a surprise to Rashida. And each and every time she's had an opportunity to leave, an excuse to leave, a reason to leave, she stays. She stays. So as far as I'm concerned, she's complicit. If you stay, if if there are no consequences for the actions and you continue to, through your passivity, almost endorse this behavior, then to me, you are a part of the problem if you're not a part of the solution. At any, Rashida is a very attractive woman. Um, she has, her business is going. It's not like she's some... Um, woman who uh, doesn't have a mo have any money, doesn't have a career, doesn't have a family, doesn't have, have a support system where she's forced to stay because of circumstances. She has every opportunity to leave, to walk out, but she consciously chooses to stay in this relationship. So at this point, I don't have any tears left for her. I don't have any sympathy left for her. Just sign up to be in a polyamorous relationship. Be sister wives. You know, maybe Jasmine and the other chick. Maybe they, you know, they came into Rashida's life to sort of so, show her the formula um, for what her life will probably wind up looking like. Because Kirk is never going to be loyal to any woman. This is just not... You know, it's like they say you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. You can't turn a hoe into a husband either. He's a hoe. And... You know, at, at some point, she's just going to have to acknowledge the fact that she married a hoe. You married a hoe. And you can't be surprised that you've married a hoe when they start doing hoe shit. That's what hoes do. He's a hoe. He's a male hoe. So, I'm sorry. I don't blame Kirk anymore because Kirk is doing what he's being allowed to do and what he's been doing. I don't blame this girl Jasmine because she wasn't married to Rashida. I, I blame Rashida because she has the power in her hands to choose to not be in that situation and she stays. When you when you make the decision to get up, get out and do something. Who is that? Macy, Macy Gray? Don't let your whole life pass you by? Yeah. <laughs> when you make the decision to get up, get out and do something then I, I then I'm team Rashida. But right now, I'm sorry you guys, weak women leave a bad taste in my mouth. There's something just about a weak woman that just drives me crazy. Especially when it's a situation where it's a woman who's choosing to be weak. And by choosing, I understand that sometimes circumstances prevent certain women from leaving. I get that. But even in the most dire situations, you should always be have a plan B. You should be planning your exit strategy. You don't stay with anyone who doesn't value you the way that you feel that you deserve to be valued. Kirk clearly has no respect for her. If he did, he wouldn't step out. And if he was stepping out, he would choose to put on a condom. Because having a baby outside of the, the marriage is the least of her problems. She should be on her knees thanking God or whomever she prays to that he didn't bring her AIDS back. Because that is a very 
high probability that something like that could happen being that he's so promiscuous and he's sleeping with women from strip clubs and wherever he doesn't he's not selective about who he sleeps with it's not like he's like well i'm only going to sleep with a certain type of woman because i deem them uh a safer option than you know these girls from the strip club and shout out to the strippers i'm not judging girls who dance you know if you get your money on the pole and that's how you do your thing shout out to you but what i'm saying is certain lifestyles are high risk lifestyles we know that if you sleep with a prostitute and a lot of strippers in some cases are working as prostitutes are using the club as a means to meet clients so, yeah, I mean, that's a part of the stripper world. If we're being completely honest, if we're going to sort of put pretense on the shelf and talk like like real adults and have an open and honest dialogue. Yes, prostitution is a part of stripping culture. Sorry, there it is. I said it. Um, but yeah, so Rashida can, continues to stay. You guys can cry for her. You guys can feel sorry for her. I'm sorry. I don't have any tears left. I don't feel like it'd be the same thing with Mimi. Mimi and Rashida in particular, they both drive me crazy because I think as women, they do such a disservice to young girls who watch this show and, and teach young girls that this is the type of stuff that you're supposed to put up with a man and work through. No, you don't work through anything with a man who treats you like that. The moment he starts to treat you like that, you get your ass up and you walk out and you do not look back. You know, this isn't the first time there's been an allegation of a child. This is like the second time. You know, then we saw a few seasons ago where he's at uh, up at the cabin with these girls in a hot tub doing whatever. You know, like, the Kirk clearly, first of all, he clearly doesn't want to be married anymore. So, Kirk, that's what I blame you for. If you're not happy and you don't want to be in a marriage, then get out. Because Rashida's too weak to do it. She's too weak to stand up for herself. So, at some point, you're going to have to just go ahead and pull that trigger and put a bullet in the head, head of that marriage and just walk away because as long as you you will a lot as long as she as long as you stay as long as you stay in the marriage she'll continue to let you abuse her so if you're any type of man if you have any genuine love for for her or affinity for her for the the mother of your children then you walk away and that's really all I can blame Kirk for is not being a man enough to walk away because he wants to be single. He misses the single life. And who knows? Maybe they'll get divorced. Maybe he'll go out and find out that the grass isn't gr green. It's actually brown and dried. And, you know, it's pretty much hay at this point. And then he'll want to come back. But hopefully she'll have enough sense to not be there waiting. So <sighs> drives me crazy. You guys, I just I'm telling you when it comes to. To, to female empowerment I just wish women were just just learn to be stronger learn to 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 assert yourself in a way that means you put put you always put you first if a man is putting you second you should always be your number one priority never allow a man to treat you less than you deserve to be treated and that's why this show, I'm telling you, Mimi, I, I keep going back to Mimi and Rashida, even um, Jocelyn to a degree, you know, she drives me crazy because she tries to play this strong role, but she does a lot of weak bitch shit too. So um, it's just, I don't know. Just learn to stand up for yourself. Learn to speak up for yourself. Don't spend your life being a rug and letting people walk all over you. That's all I have to say, you guys. Anyway, as always in closing, remember to live better, love harder, think smarter. Please think smarter. It's me, the Cerebral Diva, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day.